shepherd's pie. Oh, say it again. We're making shepherd's pie. I've got the hamburger done, which is hamburger and onions, about two pounds. And my daughter's back there making farting noises. Oh my God. Anyhow, if you can get over that part. Oh. The hamburger is done. My potatoes are done, so I'm going to take my potatoes, which I said you make about five or six potatoes, and you boil them. Pour it out. Just like you're making mashed potatoes. <laughs> then you run your cold water and you put your ice on, you want to get them cool enough, and you can peel them. Now that's how I do mine. A lot of you may not do it that way. A lot of you might tell them and then, you know, go ahead and do it. But you might do it sooner on, I took my way. <laughs> Okay, my daughter, you know, she's really been silly today, let me tell you. Yeah, April. Yeah, April. Yeah, and April. She's got the little part that she's going here. Andy. I just wish water was there, guys. You think we're going drunk today or on something more than This is our natural retard family. This is our retard family. But anyway, you Every take day. the hamburger in case I don't have enough time. You take your hamburger, you take two pound of hamburger, and you cook, put an onion in, cook it together, drain it if you have any grease. If you don't, don't worry about it. Then you make brown gravy. You put about five or six potatoes on to boil. Then when everything is done, you take your hamburger and put them in the bottom of your pan. Turn your oven on to 350. Put your hamburger in the bottom of the pan. Then you turn around and put your potatoes on top of that. <laughs> then you take about one or two cans of corn drain, old kernel. You put that on top of your mashed potatoes. <laughs> and then you put the gravy on it. And get you some, uh, cold, whatever you want, Kobe cheese, any kind of shredded cheese, it don't matter. Get the hell out of here! Get out of here! And then, you put, you, you're, 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 you're confused, you guys, I don't want to talk You put the brown gravy on top, then you put some shredded cheese on there, put it in your oven, on 350, let it bake for about 10 minutes, give your cheese enough time to melt, and then you take it out, and I'll come back, I will try to come back, and I will show you what it looks like. <laughs> you both ladies, stop! I'm just giving it some extra flavor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Hell no. I'll that. Okay, April.